Okay, welcome to this tutorial uh, about rigging a bipedal character. Uh, it's a good idea to view my primers in advance before attempting this tutorial. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rig and set up this character here. Um, things about this character is it's standing on the home grid and it's positioned directly in zero world coordinates. So zero x uh, zero Y zero Z. Um, this is all in preparation for rigging the guy uh, and taking advantage of some of the mirroring tools available in Maya. Okay, so for a start, we're going to start with rigging the leg. So I'm going to switch to my side view. So all for graphics side, like so, and we'll proceed to. Uh, put in the bones I need. Now, <clears throat> a bit of pre-planning is a good idea. So in this case, I'm going to build a bone that starts at my hip, goes to my knee, down to my ankle, down to my toe, and then my toe end. So it should look something like this. Okay. So let's do that. So I'm going to switch to wireframe mode or four on the keyboard and I will go to my animation menu here at the top and I'll select my bone tools here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just create my first bone which would be my hip. Uh, move into my knee bone which is sort of towards the front of the knee. Down to my ankle, down to my toe and finally my toe end. And then I'll hit enter to complete the tool. Okay, it looks nice. So I'll switch back to perspective and you can see the new joint uh, positioned as so. So I'm just going to name the first joint. Um, actually first what I'll do is just move it. So moving it requires using the move tool and I'm just going to move it over like so and looking at where the ankle is what I've done is I've positioned my ankle bone right in the center of my ankle um, but you can notice that my toe is a little bit off to the left here and I need to sort of bring it over a few degrees. The way to do that of course is not to grab it and move it but instead to grab your first bone in the chain and just rotate it ever so slightly to achieve the look you're going for. Like so. Alright so I'm going to name this first joint. I'm going to call it right upper UPR. Oops. Can't see what I'm typing. Okay, leg. Move into the next joint. So we put right lower leg. In fact, I've got the namings wrong because this is on the left hand side. So I should be calling this left upper leg. And left lower leg. Uh, so this is the left hand side. This is the right, um, based on the viewport or the view direction of the character itself. Again, continuing down, this would be left foot. Next one will be left toe. And I'm just going to call it one on the end. You can use the arrow keys, you press up or down, you can move down or up the chain. Left toe end. Okay, looks quite nice. So I'm going to switch back to my side view again. So smile for graphics to side. And this time I'm going to create another joint. I'm just going to create it very close to where that the left upper leg is, but this will be the central sort of hips of my character. So I'm just going to call it hips. I'm going to switch back to my perspective view. Oops. Away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to parent uh, my left leg to my new hip joint. This can be done by hitting P on the keyboard. Now the objective is to select 
your leg first and then what you intend to be the parent. So control shift and then hit P on the keyboard and you can see how is now parented to this object. Object. You can test it by moving it, but you can see the visual feedback is that I basically have an arrow shape called a joint pointing at the child. Alternatively, another way of doing this would be to open your outliner, outliner, and basically middle mouse dragging your left upper leg onto your hips, thus putting it into the hierarchy here and you can also see the result here. Okay, so why did we do this? Well we can take advantage of this setup now to mirror my left leg across to the right hand side. So what I do here is I select my leg and I'm going to my mirror tools and here I have it here. It's a mirror joint. Okay, the standard settings are not ideal so we'll undo. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the animation menu here, go across to where it says skeleton, and I'm going to go down to mirror joint and I'm going to hit the box here to get the options for the mirror joint tool. Okay, so mirror across XY, what it's currently set on, is basically dealing with this plane here. So what I want to do is set it up for YZ, so it basically should be mirrored across this plane, which would be to the right hand side of my character. So let's change that. I'm also going to search for a string in the name of this joint here, which is why I went to the effort of naming it in the first place. And I'm going to be looking for the string left underscore, and I'm going to replace it with the string right underscore. So effectively when I hit apply, you will see that my new joint is called right upper leg and it also will change the name of all the subsequent joints in here. So using the right underscore prefix in the naming of your joints and that enables you to quickly and easily replace uh, strings with this mirror joint options. So I'll just close that. Alright, so what I've got here is my leg setup. It's quite nice. So what I'm going to do now is approach the upper part of the body or in this case I'm going to look at the arms now. So I'm going to switch to my top view. So off the graphic top view. And now I'm going to go ahead and create the arm itself. So select my joint tool one more time. I'm going to create a joint first where I think my shoulder is beginning. It should be around here. And then to the elbow. It should be located somewhere near where your elbow is at the back here. And the last one will be at the wrist here. And of course I'll just finish up with one that's going to be my hand itself. So I'm going to create my first joint around where the shoulder is. Next one around where my elbow is. And next one around where my wrist is. And I'm just going to finish up here with the right click. Okay, so we're going to around to perspective. Okay, I did that through holding down the spacebar and left mouse clicking the Maya in the middle and selecting perspective view. You can see my joint chain down on the ground where it was created. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually name this correctly. So left UPR upper arm. Left upper arm. Moving to my next joint. Left lower arm. Call this left hand. And of course, I call the last one left oops, and end. Of course, you can go ahead and create fingers, but in this tutorial, I'm not going to worry about the fingers. Uh, I'm just going to do the major structures for this. So I'm going to translate this up to match my joints here, and you can immediately see some issues with it not lined up correctly. So I'm going to use the rotate option for my first uh, joint in this chain and rotate it around to match. Now best I go to my front view to see it properly. But essentially the objective here is to rotate it into a suitable position and just sort of move it a little bit around like so. 